about 40 minutes from the next meeting at the White House, and we're going to take a closer look now at the struggle to keep the government funded and the likelihood of a partial shutdown this weekend. Joining me are House Majority Whip Kevin McCarthy of California and the Minority Whip Steny Hoyer of Maryland. Congressman, thank you for being here. Mark, good to be here. Congressman uh, Hoyer, let's start with you. Chances that this does not get worked out in the final hours before Friday for a shutdown. What do you put them at right now? Brett, we, uh, we tried to uh, have a uh, unanimous consent for a uh, resolution that would, in fact, have kept the government open without question. The president would have signed it. Uh, the Senate would have passed it. Uh, it was what we usually do, uh, and that is uh, a bridge uh, uh, to allow you to uh, cross over and not fall into the river uh, until you get an agreement. Unfortunately, uh, it was not passed. And what we did pass was a, a resolution that the president has already said he would veto. Uh, not on numbers, not on cutting spending, not on keeping our troops uh, in place, uh, but uh, in uh, social policy being adopted unrelated to numbers, which the president has clearly indicated he was not for. I frankly think uh, what we're doing is playing chicken. We're driving down the road. Uh, we've agreed to 70 percent of the cuts that have been proposed, 70 percent of the cuts that have been proposed. And the other side says, uh, uh, the uh, founder of the Patriot uh, Tea Party uh, said today that if John Boehner brought him $99 billion, uh, he says that wouldn't be enough. Right. It Congress had to be 100. <laughs> McCarthy, you are the other side. Uh, what, what's your take? Well, my take is, um, one, you have to understand why we're here. When the Democrats were in the majority in the House and the Senate, they never passed a budget, even though we had a $1.5 trillion deficit. No, didn't. So we're dealing with something in a very short term, discretionary spending. When the Democrats in the majority, they increased it by 83% in the last three years. No household has lived that way. We have moved through where the House, the Republicans, have passed a resolution to fund it all the way to the end of the year. The Senate has not acted. We extended it twice. We extended again this time making sure the troops are taken care of to the end of the year. We're in three conflicts. They shouldn't be political. We cut another $12 billion. That's less than the number that Stinney's already agreed upon. Stinney brought up that there were other things in it. What Stinney brings up, he voted for 18 times since he's been in Congress. It's non-controversial. The idea that you want to play politics with this is wrong. We extended another week. Negotiations have gone better. The president has now decided to get engaged. We're excited. Although Maybe it's every late. time someone uh -huh. comes out of the White House, it seems like the negotiations are getting a little bit more contentious. It seemed like they were going fine until right. you all well, went no, no, to the but, White but, House. But, but oh, think oh, a minute. Oh, wait, 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 wait. When we first went through and we passed one, the Senate did nothing. Forty-seven days they haven't acted. The president didn't get engaged till we put the first extension. He sent the vice president down, who met with us for one day and left the country for two weeks. Right. The president now right. got and, engaged you know, again. Kevin's going to do all his talking points in the seven, uh, <laughs> right. seven minutes we have. That was very well, nice. How about his contention that riders have been passed before, riders on, have been passed before. on funding bills? The fighter, riders so have been passed before. Why should before. this one be clean? And in fact, we passed riders. And frankly, when we were in charge and Bush would not agree to riders or veto bills, we dropped them because we knew that we had to come to agreement. In democracy, you have to come to agreement. Right. We've come 70 percent of the way in terms of dollars as to what they said their objective. 70 percent of the way. Any he talks about family. As any family knows, uh, you know, if one side gets 70 percent, that's a pretty uh, good accomplishment. What they are saying is our way or the highway. Congressman McCarthy. Uh, and that's uh, a problem. Hal Rogers, now. the chairman, yes. uh, said that it may come down to passing a good old clean CR to keep yeah. the government open. Do you have the votes? Could you whip the votes uh, of your members to coax enough members to vote for something that, like that without the policy riders or the $12 billion in Brett, cuts? Let me, let me ask today. this question. That's what we offered no, no, today. No, no, no. Let's be clear what he offered today. He well, offered hold on. Let's start with the votes. Okay, Could you first, whip the votes? Well, we just whipped the vote that passed that kept the government open for another week, just like Republicans have done for three other times. No, the no, Senate has not the acted votes for that. the last time. You know that, Kevin. Without the well, votes that I got you, you couldn't have passed it. Well, we passed all, with, it because with, we with, thought it was a reasonable uh, place to go. With all this due, is not a reasonable respect, place to go. You, you we, let what, me get him to answer this one question. Okay. Do you think you can get a clean CR Look, if with the votes you have? We're not going to sit and negotiate with ourselves. From one standpoint, <laughs> we had an open process that had it all the way through. The Senate has done nothing. In the majority, the, 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 the Republican bill even got CRs. more votes than the Democrat version in the Senate. So let's, with all due respect, the, de the Democrats were in the majority; they never passed a budget. Well, let's be so accurate, we're inheriting right? this. The Senate passed. 
two of the resolutions you passed. Don't say the Senate didn't do right, it. Now, let me ask you, no, Congressman Hoyer, let me signed, ask you a question. And the President signed those let two me, resolutions, let me ask you a which question. kept the government going. And in fact, we accepted some cuts in both of those resolutions, which I voted for, as you know. Congressman Hoyer, you and look gave at the you the latest votes so you could pass them. You look at the latest Washington Post poll, yes. and it's dead tied on who's to blame if the government does shut down. Yeah. Do you agree with uh, former DNC chair Howard Dean that it would be a good thing for Democrats if the government shut down? No, I think it would not be a good thing, for much more importantly, for the country. Uh, shutting down the government is not a good thing for the country. And in fact, during the contentious times between Bush and the Democratic Congress, we never shut the government down. We came to agreement with President Bush. Uh, the last time the Republicans took over control of the House in 1995, they shut down the government because they would not come to agreement wow. with President Clinton. They and said to Clinton, uh, our way or the highway. They're repeating that today, well, Brett. Stanley, and that's, that's not the re problem. Let's not rewrite history. It was Clinton who vetoed it. But with all due respect, well, he did. the, the, the Republicans course. in the House, even though the Democrats never passed a budget and only funded government to March 8th, we have been continuing to extend it. Now, we understand this election was different. It was different than just putting somebody in the House. It was the idea of a cultural change of Washington. You cannot continue to spend the way it's been going on. So we have laid out in an open process. Even our good friend over here knows on the Democratic side they've offered amendment. Even your Congressman Weiner had won amendments in H.R. 1. We've agreed to so 70 billion through. in cuts. We've agreed, Kevin, but you to wouldn't 70 even vote for billion, 12 billion in cuts, today which I voted for. Even less. Let me what? wrap it up this way. Uh, Congressman <laughs> Hoyer, you were around for the shutdown yes, in 95 and 96. Back then, Congress and the President had already passed several uh, bills, yes. and some uh, spending bills, including one to run the legislative branch. Mm -hmm. So if this thing shuts down, how does Congress keep the lights on? Because well, there's nothing been, that's been passed. Well, if the Senate took up our our bill, they wouldn't get shut down. The we fact, could continue negotiations and the, finish the The fact problem. of the matter is, uh, Brett, we have to keep Congress going. Why? Because we have to, if the government shuts down, get it back open. Uh, and if you don't have the Congress uh, in uh, in place, you can't do that. So it's the, we're essential uh, for uh, making sure that we get the government back going if it shuts down. But it doesn't need to shut down. It doesn't need to shut down because, as we did so often, and as Hal Rogers would tell you he believes ought to be the case, we ought to pass a clean CR as a bridge from where we are now with moving nice. forward on negotiations. It's not well, like people aren't talking. We're, we're, going, we're, going in the, we're going in the final hours here. The Republicans were not going to let this government shut down. That's why we passed the CR that took the Department of Defense and our troops out of this. If the president shuts down this government and does not pay our troops, shame on him. Another this words, is an idea that we are going to make sure we can go another they week, won't finish the negotiations. They do it their so way. So no, standing, no compromise. Standing, standing. Well, no no compromise. I don't know how it's going to go at the White House, but this table didn't work out too well. <laughs> well, uh, very frankly, if I go 70 percent of the way, there's not a viewer you have that sits down in negotiations and goes 70 percent of the way and doesn't think to themselves, I've been pretty reasonable and it's time for Stanley, us to make a compromise. If you went 70 percent of the way, you would have voted for the bill today that was even less than the 70 percent. It's on the table. Okay. And the Tea Party guy said if you brought him 99, Stanley, he wouldn't take Stanley, it. Congressman, you stop thank you so much for coming in. Brad, I, good to be with you.